Hey everybody, so I'm super excited today because I have a huge, huge haul from Fashion to Figure. Now, the reason I'm doing this haul is because I asked you guys, what do you want to see? And Fashion to Figure came up over and over and over again. Let me talk a little bit about the history of Fashion to Figure. It used to be banging, amazing clothing, awesome, always got stuff there. Then it got purchased by New York & Co. And I'll tell you what, a lot of the style and designs and everything else just went downhill. Not great. But recently, things have turned back around. Items with like amazing design have been showing up on site and the quality has gone up. I've purchased a couple things here and there just to see, okay, is this for real or is this like not? In fact, these overalls, these are from Fashion to Figure and they were kind of my first like tippy tippy toe in to see like, is this brand maybe legit again? And today we're gonna find out together if that's true across the board. I'm really hoping it is because I actually feel like whoever is running their design team right now has got it together. They have some really, really cute stuff. But I'm also cognizant of the fact that last haul I did with them didn't go so great. So we'll see. I, I have a feeling it's gonna go great though because the, the jeans that I bought I've already worn them multiple times because they're amazing. And I was blown away that they actually came from Fashion to Figure. And I've heard some other bloggers also mention that recently Fashion to Figure was stepping up their game. So let's find out together if that really is the case. Also, I just want you to know that my shirt is like Animals from the Lion King. That's not important to this haul. I'm just like really happy. See, there's Scar and there's Timon and Pumbaa on here somewhere. I don't know, I just love it. It's for me, so I'll link it down below. I think it's still available. So I have two little bags and then a massive box. So I don't actually remember what I ordered because I was like, oh, you guys want a fashion to figure all? I'll just get a bunch of stuff. And then I did that and then forgot. So, ooh, I'm already liking what I'm seeing here at Snake Print. And this is, ooh, a Snake Print pair of pants check those out the fabric is pretty thick nice and stretchy definitely four-way stretch so you stretch in all the ways you can stretch a lot we got a big thick waistband up here and definitely a nice fabric um what is this actually made of it's rayon nylon and spandex mixed i like it i mostly just like animal prints now i've devolved into like um a cougar Basically, I'm still single. I like younger guys. You can find me at the bar, sitting with my hair in a ponytail, wearing a corset, talking about things I did in the 80s, cause I'm a cool guy. Uh, to the people that don't like singing, suck it up. It's here to stay. Oh. <laughs> so these, these are fun. I have high hopes for these, cause they look cool. They look cool and I, I also like to look cool. So these are like my favorite pants in the whole haul. Actually, they're my favorite thing in the haul. They are super comfortable and they just like snatch the waist. Like nobody's business. <laughs> bag number two. I like the way the light is like glowing on my face like it's coming out of the bag. I don't know, that amuses me on a level that I didn't expect it would but it's making me really happy. I also love that it's like someone hand wrapped these items in tissue paper. So I just imagine someone being like, very like made these items and wrapping them up and being like, I hope these go to a good home. I work so hard on them. I'm like, they did, they did go to a good home. Anyway, the first is this oof, dolman sleeve sweater crop top. Again, in snake print, but this time like a mustard yellow snake print because you know, that's my color. Actually, there's lots of colors that are my colors. Color is my color, but I love mustard yellow in this season and it's just a cute little crop top. I thought it was a little bit of a dolman sleeve. It's actually more of a drop sleeve. So it's just a longer, like where they put the armholes is a little bit beyond where the arm starts. It is made out of <laughs> digging for the tag. It's made out of rayon and polyester. It's nice, it's very soft. Little hot for how hot it is here in Austin right now, cause um, it's so hot your face will melt, literally. 
To go with that sweater, I got this adorable snake print yellow bodycon skirt. I will say it looks a little small. It looks like these hips are gonna fight it, which is weird because the other items I've looked at don't have that feeling about. Now here's a fun little game we can play because I accidentally ordered two of these. Let's see if they are uniformly sized. This is always fun to figure out. This is always fun to figure out if people actually use a uniform pattern. Sometimes they don't, but we'll find out very quickly if they do. So this one is the first one we had. We're lining it up with the second one we had. Okay, so there are, they are uniform. You can see here, there are no excess on either side and the skirts are falling down right on top of each other. So that's a good sign. Whether or not it'll fit my thighs is another fish issue, but the fact that these are uniformly cut that's a really good sign. That means they're investing in quality control, which your girl loves. So I can't decide how I feel about this. The top is really oversized and the skirt is really snug. It does fit, although it's definitely on the tighter side. It's not too tight, but it's definitely tighter than I thought it would be. Um, I don't know how I feel. I also didn't know I bought them as a set. I actually bought the set and a skirt. <laughs> So I have three of these pieces, but yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if I should keep it or return it because I really am undecided. Also in the bag is another pair of pants. Ooh, these are cool. These are like flight pants. I love me some flight pants. They zip up here. I very much have worries about my thighs fitting in these. I get worried about like more structured pants all the time, but they do have some, a little bit of stretch, but like I got them big old big girl thighs. So who knows if they will fit in here though. I have heard that fashion to figure does tend to fit more of a curvier girl or like a pear shaped girl. So I've got a prayer right now. Dear sweet baby Jesus, please let these fit my gigundo thighs. Thank you. Cause they're really cute. How cute is that? With like a bodysuit and an attitude. Ow! I am here to play. Uh, it's also got a cargo pocket, which I, okay, I know. We said we'd never love cargo pockets, but then here I am. Loving on a cargo pocket. It does have like a faux satin feel to it, but not so much shiny that it's like annoying, right? Just like shiny so it looks expensive. Straight up satin, I don't play that game. I think it's fugly. I'm gonna throw it out there and, and when you sweat, it's really obvious. Like, I don't know why people are like, oh my God, I love satin. I'm like, lies. You love satin for five minutes when you take a picture, but when you go to a bar and you have a massive sweat stain that is now a different color and will be a different color for the entire time you were out, because when it dries, it loves, leaves that amazing little like outline of the fact that you were disgusting in that outfit. Mm, no, satin sucks. Well, that type of satin sucks. <laughs> I could go on. I really, 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 really hate that type of satin. I can't find what these are made of, so my dreams. It's like my cop-out phrase when I don't know what they're made of. It's made of my dreams. Jazz hands. And then like this zipper in the front is a little weird and I'm like concerned that after a couple of wears, it'll like just fall down. She's your basic average girl and she's here to save the world. <laughs> it's impossible, impossible, impossible. Sorry, it was going through my head the whole time I was trying these pants on and I just had, I had to let it out. Now we on to that big boy-ish. Mm -mm -mm. Dancing with my package, dancing with my package and a knife. Dancing with my package. Okay, I'm a little confused here. So the box says the limited, but I thought Fashion to Figure was owned by New York & Co. Now I need to research this. I need to take a short little break and figure out who actually owns them. I have found the Google entry for Fashion to Figure. Blah, blah, blah. I was bought by New York and Co. Who, wait, how is this from the limited? I'm so confused. I just Googled for a solid chunk of time and found no indication as to why the box should say the limited when fashion to figure is owned by New York and Co. And neither have sold or anything. All I can figure is maybe the limited was acquired by New York and Co. But now, now I'm going to spend the rest of the night Googling this. I will come back by the end of the video with a clear answer. But seriously, this, this is what happened. I'm type A. 
This is how you know I'm type A, because now I'm gonna go through the rest of the haul wondering. It's gonna sit in the top of my head and be like, hmm, why did it say the limited, Anna? Why did it say the limited? Because I'm type A, I'm type A. I also drank two cups of coffee, which maybe I should not do again. <laughs> I've just recently discovered I love coffee. I know, late to the game. But you know what was a game changer for me? Pumpkin spice creamer. Once I discovered that, <laughs> It was over. Coffee and I were like hanging out on the weekends and bestie friends. I mean, I drank coffee every once in a while, but now I like want coffee all the time. I also better buy like 30 bottles of that creamer because once it's gone, I'm gonna legit cry until it comes back. Facts. Now back to the video that you actually came to watch because <laughs> I've just wasted a good 15 minutes doing nothing. It's a solid day in the neighborhood. Um, thanks babe. Okay, I just have to rant for two seconds. I know I said I was gonna get into the clothes, but I hate when companies call me babe. I hate that like people think that women who like to dress well also like to be called babe, sweetie, or honey. Those three words are for my lover, for my lover. I really can't think of another context where I'm okay with someone calling me babe, sweetie, or honey. Definitely, maybe like my friend if I looked real good and was like, ooh, what a babe, I'd be okay, but if my friend was like, babe, what's up? I'd be like, girl, that's a weird thing to call me. Do not call me babe. Like call me, you know, hey hot stuff is, is better than babe. So when people put like, thanks babe on stuff, ew, ew, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Until you're buying me dinner, I don't wanna hear you call me babe. Facts, facts. I'm getting real in this haul, guys. So the first item is a color that I love. And this is, actually this is the reason I have this haul in the whole place. In the whole, <laughs> in the whole place I have this. You two laughed, congratulations. You also have the maturity of a 14 year old. Okay, <laughs> this is the cause of the whole haul. So basically this dress came back in stock and I was like, oh, that's cute. I should do a haul. And then I was like, oh, everybody was asking for fashion to figure. And thus here we are. This is a ribbed button all the way down dress. Uh, not real buttons. These are fake and sewn on, which I actually like better in these types of dresses because my thighs I was trying to escape. And they, especially when it's like those snaps, those snaps can't contain this juice. No, they cannot. They are expert snap breakers. And like the first time I sit down in a snap down dress, it's over. The world can see everything. And um, yeah, so that's why you will not see me in those outside of my apartment. But anyway, the buttons are mirrored down here in the sleeve. It's really soft. It's a really soft rib knit, which I'm super impressed with. And I love the length. It's a little bit longer than the knee, so it's totally like appropriate if you wanna go somewhere a little bit more conservative. I also like the way the neckline is rounded and then does a split. I do wish you did have the option to button these up just in case you wanted to, but that's really my only like critique on the design. As for what it's made of, it's made of rayon and nylon, mostly rayon though, and it's very soft. I'm actually really impressed with the quality of the fabric on this, it's good. It's a solid hit. It's a banger! <laughs> so I actually really like this. The color is really beautiful, but I still hate that split down at the bottom, which is just not friendly to the way my body is shaped. These thighs are always escaping. Also, the arms are really, really long. Real long. Next item is very like Cher from Clueless. Uh, you might be thinking, am I doing a Halloween costume of Cher from Clueless? I'm gonna tell you I'm not, because I think a lot of people will. So I wanna do Halloween costumes I don't think other people are gonna do, because that's the type of person I am. Because I'm a weirdo. I thought I opened the bag, but I really just like opened a hole for my hand to go through. There we go, bloop. This dress is plaid. It is a yellow plaid. It zips down the front all the way down and has a little slit here. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is probably not the dress for me. As we just discussed about my thighs tendencies to just like be out in the world, any type of slit where they can have any freedom, they're gonna take it. So this is gonna be wide open and 
I don't want to show that to the world. It makes me bummed though, because it's super dang cute. But I wonder if I put some leggings underneath it, if it would still work, I will probably try it on without leggings. And if you see me wearing it, it'll be with leggings, because you know, I try to try things on as you would wear them, but oof, it is definitely going to free my candy legs. Um, I like that these are a little bit thicker so you can wear a normal bra underneath it. I will say it's that white backed fabric that I don't love because it's just not my favorite. Though even when I stretch it out, it's not doing a lot of color loss, which is nice. Sometimes when you get fabrics like this and you stretch it, the color loss is just too much to make it worth it. But for the most part, it feels pretty good. Not my favorite fabric though. Being real with you, I'm not nuts about how this feels. It's not soft, it's not comfortable, it's not great quality. It just kind of is, which is kind of a bummer. It's polyester and spandex. I don't know, this, this for me is not something that I'm like, ooh, it's so great. It's, it's okay. I mean, if it looks banging on you, totally worth keeping, but eh. Um, <laughs> oh, it's just as I predicted. <laughs> Stare. It's like, no, it's so bad. It's like, no. Uh, yeah, this is, I'm not kidding. This. Let's go back. Womp, womp, womp. Actually, not quite that. It's just a womp, womp. Okay. That's kind of where it's at. Next, we got some Jane's. We got some stretch at Jane's. These are a rust color, which I love. I love this color so much. So into it and super stretchy. They, they have some cool distressing right here at the knee. I'm trying to go fast because I'm losing the light. Why nature, why? Um, these look awesome. And they definitely look big enough to fit my thigh and they definitely have a lot of stretch. So kind of pumped to try these on. Ooh, I love these. And the stress is cool. It's kind of throughout the jean. It's a little bit different than I've seen before. So these are, these are like harvest festival realness. The fabric's pretty good. Doesn't have any smell to it because sometimes you know jeans are stinky. Like stretchy jeans, some of them smell like hot garbage. And I'm like, how did this get out of the factory? Who wants to smell like a dump truck? And if I have to wash it three times, it ain't gonna happen because I don't even have a washer and dryer yet. I have to send that crap out. So if your jeans are stinky enough that I have to wash them multiple times, I'm never wearing them. Congrats, you lose. So there's no stank up in these jeans. Straight up, these are really low cut in the back. So probably not a fit for me. But they may work for someone with less of a dunk a dunk. If you got less of this, it may work for you. This jumpsuit I've seen on some other bloggers and I just was like, okay, you sold me, I need to get it too. Super stretchy denim. It feels very similar to the pants I had previously. It has a tie. Now here is the kicker. It has a zip up the back. And I struggle with zip up the backs because I don't have no friends. <laughs> no, I have friends. I just, I like to be able to get in and out of my clothing on my own. I like to be an independent woman. And it is always frustrating to me that it is 2019 and designers have not realized that we are not in the olden times. We do not have maid servants. We do not have gentleman callers to zip us into crap. So why are we still putting zippers on the back? You can hide a zipper so easily. Why? Why are we putting them in the back? The side I get, the front I get. But the back, why? Why are we doing this to ourselves? I'm just sorry. I love this. I love the puff sleeves on it. I love the belt. I love the way the legs come down into a little bit more of a wider leg definitely more in trend for the season. This feels and looks awesome. I'm just frustrated about that back zipper because I know personally that's like a barrier to me grabbing that item when I want to go out because I get nervous. I'm like, like the fear is real. Like if I get trapped in the suit and I can't go to the bathroom and then I'm like in the bathroom and I'm trying to take it off and then I get it half off and then I drop half of it in the toilet because I'm like a little combobulated and trying to escape. I've had this happen in real life. I have toilet water to suit jumpsuit before. It was traumatizing because then you have to pick it back up and put it on because if you don't, you're naked. 
So you have your choices of being completely naked at a bar or covered in toilet juice. Disgusting options, people. Not good options. Not, neither are good. And rant. Let me talk about my biggest pet peeve. When something will definitely fit my body, but the zipper is just not far enough down the back for it to get it over my dang hips. So I want to wear this jumpsuit, but it's stuck over the booty. It's stuck there. It's not, it's not coming up. And even if it did, it would be through a lot of work. And no way would I be able to execute that on my own after a couple cocktails. So this is a super bummer because I was so feeling it, but my ass is too fat. Reality. This shirt is bananas, it is also snake print. I'm gonna be real here, I cannot keep 13 items in snake print. Some of these items are gonna have to go back, but I love this color so much. I also love this shearing right at the waistline, like kinda giving you that hourglass figure that you know you like. Cause you know, I'm a babe. <laughs> um, I love the colors, I love the styling, the fabric, Medium, it's not, I don't love it. It's not soft or silky, but it is a pretty standard shirt fabric that you would find. No negative feelings towards it. It's not like the yellow dress. It's 100% polyester. It's like a standard polyester shirt that you would get. I do worry about breathability. This feels like something you would sweat right through. And then the heat would stay. So good for colder places, maybe not great for Austin, Texas. In short, nothing in this haul is good for Austin, Texas. <laughs> It will have to be stuff I wear when I go to New York. Because I really, I really do love this smocking here. I think it gives it a nice definition that most button downs don't have, but it's a little tight in the arms, a little tight at the boot. So, zap. The next item we have, oh, it's a cute little Thai yellow shirt just across, across the front with some nice little ruffle sleeves. Very soft fabric. This is interesting because the body is a stretch fabric and the sleeves are a non-stretch, kind of like a gorget, gorget or georgette, whatever that is, fabric that's a little ruffled at the end. Uh, looks cute, looks fun, looks very low. I'm gonna see you get low. <laughs> this is, we're gonna have to tape that so the girls don't go free, but otherwise I really like it. Could be really fun with a little bralette top for a little bit of a spicy moment without too much spice, like paprika, but not like cayenne. And this is made of polyester and spandex. Ooh, my favorite combo. Not really, actually I love cottons. I do, I love a cotton. I love a cotton. So I thought this was gonna be super low cut, but um, I actually really like it. The cut is very flattering. It's a nice crop, but it hits right at around the waistline. And it's a really brilliant color. I like this a lot. I'm definitely keeping this piece. And I think it could be a great fall essential. Oh my golly gosh gee there's some faux fur and i don't care how hot it is outside i always 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 have time for faux fur Ooh, this is my favorite color by the way burnt orange or orange in general just anything orange is my favorite color it's so soft it's like teddy bear soft it's like a nice Blanket. I've said this before when I talk about faux fur, but it's definitely one of those blankets that you get at Bath and Body Works, and I will continue to describe it as that because when I do, people understand what I mean. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. And it's cropped. Oh, I'm just gonna live. It's my tangerine dream. Oh, well, this is staying. This is staying forever and ever. You're on my body and I will love you forever and ever. Never to part and I will with you forever and ever and ever to be. Will only bring heartbreak for me. <sighs> okay, I need to move on to the next item, but I don't think I need to say anything more. Except no animals were harmed in the making. Oh, I lost a headband. I lost a headband. Man down, man down. Put back in. Um, no animals were harmed in the making of that dance number. How I feel in this. I'll make it rain. Now I have to clean that up. 
I just really like this jacket. And I wanted it to be dramatic. There's no more money. Like my bank account. This I got just because I thought it was sexy. Someday I'll get a man. And someday I, I will need sassy outfits. <laughs> Let's be real. I'm going to come to bed in like a hideous onesie. Be like, like a Buzz Lightyear onesie and be like, you ready for this? Me and my Buzz Lightyear onesie? That's gonna be my, that's my sex life, guys. <laughs> um, this is hot. This is hot, I'm just gonna show you. It's faux leather, it's got some buckles, zips all the way down the front. It's definitely on the shorter side, has a buckle at the waist and it is, mm, it's hot both literally and figuratively. Like, this is gonna be hot to wear. You're gonna be sweating, you're gonna be disgusting, but you're gonna look good. But you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna be a hot mess. Oof, this is hot. Sexy lady. This is 100% polyurethane. So you're wearing a seat cover, essentially. Oh. But instead of someone's sweaty butt, you're covered in sex appeal. You could also be covered in someone's sweaty butt. What you do in your own time, I do not need to know. But oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel like this this is hot. Mwah. You won't get me some in that. I'm gonna hit up a bar and be like, yeah, I'm just casually getting a drink. I wear this all the time. And the fact is, I wear stuff like that never. Okay, this had to have been bought from like a different retailer. Because the top, I can tell, would fit me perfect. But there is no way in hell the bottom of the skirt is going to zip. Now, I made Riley try it on. She's typically a 1X, and the bottom fit her. So if you are a larger chested, smaller butted woman, this is for you. But if you are Team Candy Juicy Thighs, this is a no. This is a hard no. I'm going to go put some clothes on now. We got something else in here. What is it? another jacket okay it's not as soft as the other one and if I have a faux fur I really feel like it needs to be soft and this one just feels like the cookie monster in black gothic cookie monster fabric for reals I don't like it already just because I like only faux fur that's soft and cushy and this is not soft and cushy yeah no it doesn't even fit my arms well I don't like it I don't think I need, I'm not gonna tell you anything more because I just I don't have any other review then. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. And it took one of my nails. So now I really don't like it. It feels like when you have a faux fur and you're like, somebody washes it and accidentally puts it on the dryer on high heat and like melts a little bit of the, the fake fur. That's what it feels like. That's not a treat. When I've done that to a jacket before, guess what I did? I threw it out because it was trash. That's trash. And another thing I hate about this jacket, what is this aggressive collar? Like, stay up, stay down, what the hell? I don't like it. It's not comfortable and I don't like it. We've got one last item, guys. And then we're done, we're free, it's over. Ooh, it's a little body, whoa, whoa, whoa. Girl, don't be too eager, it's not cute. These buckles, not great. They're gonna work okay. But do I trust it to keep me covered? I don't know. Okay, I had to fix it. Got, whoa! I don't trust these buckles. I don't trust them. I've now had to fix them multiple times. And all I'm gonna say is I like to dance. I love the nightlife. I like to boogie on the disco and ah, like she sings. And I would 100% dance my way out of this. It's cute otherwise. Fabric, meh, meh, not great. Um, very lightweight. We'll see how this sits on a tar tall girl. But I mean, this would be a pass for me. I would probably, I probably will return this. It's not great quality. It's, it feels cheap. It feels really, really cheap in comparison with the other items. It is made out of polyester and spandex, but it's just so sheer and not like cute sheer like just cheap just cheap i don't like it these buckles are hell to try to get buckled on your own i had to get help um 
The fabric is, is okay. It's a little bit lower V than I would like. It just doesn't feel supportive and it also feels very difficult to get on. I also feel it's a little bit short torso for me. So it's, it's no. But yeah, no, I actually wouldn't recommend this to someone else because it's these buckles are very likely to come undone and they're very difficult to buckle yourself. So I'm actually just anti any clothing that I need help getting into. And this, this would be an example of that. So final verdict on fashion to figure. Um, I'll be real with you, a lot of the items are going back. I didn't hate them, they just didn't fit me right. I thought the design was good, but I just felt like they weren't consistent in the way they were cut. Some things were cut for people with small hips, some things were cut for people with big hips. Sizing didn't seem totally consistent, and even some of the designs just like were different when I had them in my hands and on my body than I expected them to be versus online. So I was really pumped for some things that just didn't work out for me. And that was, was a bummer. Though I will say it wasn't like the worst haul I've ever had. In fact, I almost wish it was a little bit worse so it could be funnier. <laughs> this was just kind of like, oh, that's kind of sad versus hilariously bad. So nobody won in this haul, guys. Nobody won. So with that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Links to everything are down below as per usual. I'll check you later, and peace.